Hey, what's up, Claremont Club? Sean here. And today I'm going to be going over a few at-home exercises you can be doing using a landmine setup. Now, what is the landmine setup, you ask? Well, essentially, all it is is a bar anchored or wedged at one end that allows freedom of movement on the other end. So to make it an at-home workout, all I did, stuck the bar into the corner. I have a piece of carpet. Uh, I like using the carpet, it's a little rugged. Uh, it's not gonna not worry about anything getting scratched. Um, if you're working out in your apartment or a room inside, I recommend taking some towels or some old t-shirts, wrapping the bar on one end and placing another end uh, towel or t-shirt against the wall just to prevent any, any sort of rubbing or scraping or anything like that. So I'm using a standard 45 pound bar. If you have a lighter bar, be 15, 25, 35 pounds, anything you have, it's gonna work. All you have to do, anchor one end into the corner, allow the other end to move, and you'll be good to go. So, I do like the landmine setup for a couple different reasons. One, is very space efficient. I know the bar may be long, but all the exercises I'm doing is in this area right here. So, you can move like this, you got enough space, okay? Uh, a lot of different exercises you can do, lower body, upper body, everything in between. Uh, it's very time efficient also because of the number of exercises you can be doing with just this one tool, just this one piece of equipment. Um, I'll be going over a few different exercises today and with those you'll get a full body workout. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. So what makes the landmine unique? is the path that it travels in as it's being lifted. With one end anchored in, it creates an arc pattern as it lifts up and down. It's not a true vertical pushing. Uh, it doesn't go horizontal either. It's kind of the in-between, which really plays for advantage with a couple different exercises as far as um, teaching cues on certain things to emphasize, as well as making other exercises a little more uh, safe. So uh, you'll, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about as I get into some of the exercises. Uh, so the first exercise we're gonna be doing is a landmine squat. Squats are good, everyone's gotta be doing them. Um, so this kind of mimics a goblet squat in that you're holding the weight against your chest, okay? The main difference, again, as it's following the arc pattern, is as you descend into the squat, it's gonna force you to push your hips back like you're sitting down into a chair. I'm gonna demonstrate a few, and hopefully you'll kind of see what I'm what I'm talking about. It's like any squat, uh, basic setup: feet hip width apart, slightly wider than hip width apart, toes flared out to the sides a little bit. So I'm holding the bar against my chest as I'm lowering down. My hips will be pushed back and lifted. You want to go down till your elbows touch your knees. That's usually a safe range of motion to be working in. Again, hips go back as you descend into the squat. Uh, the next exercise we'll be getting into is a bent over row. So I'll be in the hinged position at the waist, pulling the bar with my upper body. This is a great posterior chain exercise. My glutes will be working, hamstrings, low back, upper back, everything's gonna be working. So, all you're gonna need for this is a towel. I recommend just an old rag. Um, again, like carpet, very sturdy. Not gonna worry about it ripping or anything. Just gonna wrap it around the end. Here I am hinging at the waist, keeping a flat back, pulling the bar up to your chest. The glutes are working, hamstrings are working, upper back's working. Pull the bar for one to two seconds at the top, and bring it back down. So I've noticed with a lot of uh, home workouts that I've been doing for myself, uh, they tend to emphasize a lot of pushing motions. So push-ups with uh, dumbbells, you're doing shoulder presses, uh, shoulder raises, things like that. Um, but home workouts tend to kind of lack pulling exercises. If you can do some dumbbell rows, that's great. Um, any point exercise that you can find, try to put an emphasis on that. Um, if any of my clients are out there watching, you guys know we try to do 
one sort of pulling exercise before we get into any pushing exercise. And we also try to do at least twice as much pulling as pushing. So the bent over row is a, a great variation of that because you're working your, the backside of your lower body as well as the backside of your upper body. So true posterior chain exercise. Okay. Uh, the next exercise we're getting into is going to be one of those pushing exercises. So this is a shoulder press. Again, with the bar following that arc pattern, this is not a true vertical pushing exercise. It's more of a 45 degree pushing exercise due to the, the bar path that it has to take. Now, I, I like this variation even a little bit more than the true vertical pressing because it's a little more joint friendly on the shoulder. Anyone that has any shoulder issues, um, pushing at a 45 degree angle is a little bit safer, um, but you're still getting the good, the good pushing work that you need to be. Uh, so we in the standing uh, variation, which is actually a little bit, technically a little bit easier than if you're in a kneeling shoulder press um, due to the biomechanics of where the weight's being distributed. Um, I'm doing the, the standing variation because it's, you're working a little more muscles, can be a little more metabolically active. I know everyone's snacking a little bit extra during this quarantine, so we're trying to burn as much calories as we can uh, with these exercises. So, lifting with the legs, okay, engaging the glutes, engaging, engaging the core, okay, lower body stays steady, pushing the bar at a 45 degree angle. However many reps you do on one side, you're gonna switch arms, perform the same number of reps on both sides. <clears throat> so those are just a few exercises you can be doing with the landmine station. Um, if Depending on what bar you have, with each one of those three exercises, feel free to load the bar up and go heavy if you're trying to, trying to gain some strength. Or if you're a little more oriented towards just working your conditioning, um, you can turn it into a circuit fashion. So my recommendation would be to set a timer for 15 minutes Perform eight reps of each one of those exercises, the squat, the rows, and the shoulder press. Get through as many reps, many rounds as you can in that 15 minutes. Your heart will be pumping, your lungs will be screaming. You'll hate me during those 15 minutes, but you'll thank me afterwards. So I hope this video helps. Give it a try. Uh, I can't wait to see everyone once the club opens back up. Stay positive, stay safe. See everybody soon.